Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'll be making an art journal layout. <clears throat> you have to excuse my voice because I'm having a bit of a cold right now, but anyway. Before I start, let me show you my art journal since I get a lot of questions about that. This is a sketchbook and it's by Moleskin. There is a description and a link just below the video. It has nice off-white vanilla pages which are made out of heavy paper. However, I like to glue two pages together to make them even thicker. As you can see, it's uh, quite bulky uh, the, at the moment since I like to add dimensional elements on my pages. So I plan to cut out the spine in the future and uh, let it breathe. But I'll make sure to share it with you when I'll do that. So today I'll go on and make a um, Christmas themed layout. And uh, these are the supplies that I'm uh, thinking of um, using. At this point I know that I want to use uh, these supplies, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So, just to let you into my thoughts for a bit, uh, when I start uh, making an art journal, it's very difficult to start from a blank page. And that's why I like to add uh, some tissue paper at the background or maybe a pattern paper, and that helps my inspiration. And that's what I'm going, uh, I'm going to do now. I'm using this tissue paper by Tim Holtz, and uh, I don't uh, especially like the butterflies since this is going to be a Christmas themed layout, but I'm going to cover them up wherever I see a butterfly. Now I'm using a gel medium to stick uh, the tissue paper on uh, the bag. And while I'm doing that, let me share some thoughts. I get so much love about my art journals and I want to thank you all for that. So many questions, emails, uh, comments, and just because you like them so much, I will try to post more often. Uh, it's uh, too time consuming, not uh, so much to make the layout, but uh, more like uh, video editing and voiceover. But I'll do my best to post more often. So now I'm uh, glued down the tissue paper and now I'm going all around and cut out the excess. This is uh, distress paint. And I'm going to use red to paint uh, the whole background. This is going to be a Christmas uh, themed layout, so I think that uh, red is uh, more appropriate. I also like to use a wet baby wipe to spread the color all around. And uh, now I'm going to cover the whole area using gel medium. I'm doing that because I want uh, the surface to be non-porous. Uh, distress paint is permanent and you don't have to cover it up uh, just to make it um, to make sure that the <coughs> paint doesn't flow around. But uh, making it not porous will help me use uh, my markers later on and create some shadows. You'll see what I mean in the process. These are my Pete Artist markers by Faber-Castell and I'm always using them to create my shadows. So I'll just go around with uh, the brown marker and using my wet baby wipe or with my finger I'm going to smudge the, um, the ink uh, and create some shadow around uh, the edges. This is Indian ink and uh, you just have a few seconds to smudge the ink all around before it dries permanently. And here is an old and uh, well-loved uh, stencil by Studio Calico, which is full of stars. And I'm going to use my embossing paste. You can also use modeling paste. And uh, I'll just go over the stencil and create some uh, stars. I 
I get some comments that I added too much detail on my art journals and that uh, this defeats the purpose. All I have to say is that an art journal is something personal, a way to express yourself. There are no rules of how messy or neat you want to be. So just go ahead and do whatever pleases you. And you know me, I just love details. So now I'm just uh, choosing um, some pattern papers from a paper pad and I'm going to cut out uh, rectangles which are uh, later on going to be presents on my layout. Now that I've cut out all my presents, I'm just uh, placing them down and I'm going to stick them uh, using uh, my tape runner just uh, so I remember where everything is supposed to go. And then of course I'll uh, use my gel medium to stick everything in place. I'll go with, st with gel medium on top of the presents also because I'm going to use my pit uh, markers and create some shadows as usual. So I've used uh, my brown marker and uh, went around the outside edges of the gifts and now I'm using a fine tip marker and I'll go all around the edges. Shadows is the key and uh, that's what actually makes everything you stick on the page to be a part of the layout. And now I'm going to glue down uh, uh, pieces of uh, ribbon and also some uh, flows later on to make them look like presents with the ribbons, the bows and everything.
So here are the presents finished and uh, check out the dimension of the embossing paste. Just uh, gorgeous. These are Tim Holtz stamps and I'm going for the Nutcracker. It's actually one of the blueprint uh, Christmas collection and I'm using a brown archival ink to stamp uh, the image and uh, finally I'll use my Copic markers to color it. I'm not uh, doing any detailed coloring uh, here as I'm going to add shadows uh, later on. I went ahead and cut around my image using my scissors and now by using uh, some uh, distressing, brown distressing, I'll go over the edges just to get rid of uh, the white um, or the manila edges. And uh, finally I'll just use my gel medium and stick it on and stick him on top of uh, the presents. As always, while I'm sticking it with uh, gel medium, I'll go over uh, on top of the image with gel medium and that will uh, turn the image into a non-porous uh, surface and then I'll be able to use my pit brown markers again to create the shadows. And finally I'll go over the edges with my black fine tip marker and just add some details. This is a gorgeous die by Penny Black, it's uh, from their latest uh, Christmas collection and I'll use these uh, two manila tags which are again by Ranger and uh, I'll just color them uh, with my distress paints. I'm just uh, going through my distress paint collection and looking for uh, green paints and also I'm using uh, the one of the metallics. As always, you can find a full list of all the supplies I'm using together with the color rings uh, down below in the description area. After applying my paint, I'm just using a weight baby wipe to spread it around. And once the tags are uh, dry, I'm just uh, going to pass them through my cattle bag machine and uh, create my die cuts. And I'm sure you know the process by now. I'm uh, using gel medium to stick uh, the die cuts on top of my page and then I'll go over the die cuts again with gel medium to create the non-porous surface. And as always I'll uh, use my pit brush uh, pens at the end to add the shadows. <laughs>
this is just a thin uh, printer paper and uh, just because I don't have a notepad punch, I uh, went ahead and used my zutter machine to create those uh, holes and make it look uh, like it's a piece of uh, notepad. Now I've used my distress inks and uh, sprayed them uh, with uh, water to create this background. And finally I'll use uh, vintage photo and uh, go over the edges and a bit on top to create this uh, old looking uh, piece of paper. And finally, using browning, I'm going to stamp uh, my sentiment on top. It's just uh, stamped by Tim Holtz and uh, says Merry Christmas. In the same stamp set, there is also a wreath, which I'm going to stop at the uh, bottom corner of my paper, just to add some interest. And finally, to finish it off, I'm just using my scissors and create some notches here and there to make it look even older. And uh, then I'll just uh, stick it down on my layout. I'm not going to stick it to using uh, gel medium. I want to keep uh, the dimension. So I'm just adding a bit of uh, glue at uh, the back and only at the center of the paper. And now add uh, some finishing touches. This is... Uh, a booklet by Tim Holtz which uh, has some tickets and uh, I've chosen one that says hope and the other one that says wish and I'm just going to staple them on uh, my layout but first I'm just going all over using uh, distress ink just to make it look uh, a bit uh, older and uh, help it blend with the background and once the tickets are in place I'm going to use some ribbons which are by Tim Holtz and they are Christmas themed you can find the link below also and uh, there are actually two sets of ribbons in uh, this package one with uh, black uh, ribbons and uh, another sheet with uh, white ones i've chosen the white ones and i'll uh, just go ahead and uh, add uh, some um, ribbons here and there in my layout So finally I'm done with my ribbons and uh, you can see that I've added quite a lot here and there. I also made an effort to add in uh, the corners and uh, that creates a more finished look of the layout. I also added small uh, little uh, details on the leaves and uh, that pretty much uh, concludes uh, the layout for today. I'm just adding uh, uh, some glitter with using my Wink of Stella and that's the gold one.
And uh, finally, using my clear wing of Stella, I'll just go over the wreath on that uh, piece of paper. And I'm going to add some gems uh, just to create the um, holy berries. Instead of using the gems, I could uh, just go ahead and use my stickles. I all already have a couple of ones that uh, would match uh, the theme. That's uh, red candy and uh, Christmas red or something, I can't remember. But uh, they were finished, both of them, so I didn't have a choice. I had to go on with the gems. And just because I can't help it with uh, the finishing touches, I went ahead and added a couple of uh, mini clips on the tickets. And as you can see at the back, you can see the back of the paper clips, but I don't mind because, uh, as I told you before, I'm uh, usually st I usually stick uh, two pages together, and these will are going to hide. And uh, finally, I'm just adding um, the date, and uh, that's the layout for today. I hope you had fun. I <laughs> hope it wasn't too long for you and uh, thank you all for all the comments and uh, the love that you keep uh, leaving me. I wish you all a happy holiday season with friends and family. Mm -hmm.